Non-believers seem to struggle with one particular blind spot of truth. They look at the circumstances on earth, recognizing the catastrophes, the evil. Then they reason, well, if God was real or loving or had an ounce of compassion, he'd just stop all this. He'd fix it all. Now, here's the problem with that ignorance of life. God made us all in his image, not the flesh, the dust part, but the spiritual part of us, the intellectual, emotional part of us. So if humanity doesn't have enough autonomy to either choose God or reject God, then how can we truly be made in his image and be like him? God's design of you is predicated on your power of choice to believe. No abuse or slavery can take that away from you. You are a believer of some sort. That's you, even if it's your choice to not believe in God or the truth. In the Garden of Eden, at our very beginning of human existence, we chose. We chose disobedience, betrayal, disbelief, treason, a lie, and put ourselves under the curse. Sure, God could have eliminated all the evil in that moment, but that would have eliminated all you precious atheists, nihilists, all of us from existence. Guys like C.S. Lewis would have never existed. God loves all of us. And yes, you non-believers too. The potential for life is worth the risk. And that's why God sent the ultimate antidote for our sin problem, Jesus, born of a virgin. Look, because as even Richard Dawkins would understand, a savior would have to have a unique genome makeup to reverse the law of thermodynamics as we call it, the law of sin and death. And then God raised his crucified son up from the grave. I've never met an atheist or a witch that can do that. I've never met a scientist who refuses to believe in God that can do that. Look, outside the box question just for you. Let me ask you this. If you knew beyond all doubt that you could have the most amazing life as long as you made Jesus your Lord and Savior, would you do it? Now, if you're a Christian, you're already nodding your head in agreement. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm really addressing this question to the seeker, the skeptic, the critical thinking atheist. Would you receive and believe on Jesus if, if it meant truly living life the ultimate way it was designed? If your answer is yes, then you really are wanting the real meaning of life, the genuine truth. But if you said no, we might conclude that you're so in the grip of pride that you're not just truth illiterate, you're in love with your self-deception and you're willfully blind. 